today we learn about glycogen storage disorders i have so many tricks and mnemonics for you guys it's going to be so easy so let's get into it this is a genetic disorder and the defect lies in an enzyme which can break or make glycogen so if this is glycogen and this is the enzyme that's supposed to break it what we get from breaking the glycogen is small packets of glucose now if the enzyme which is supposed to break the glycogen does not work what happens excess glycogen is formed now the body starts looking for places to store these excess glycogen and it deposits it in the tissues and that is why this is called as glycogen storage disorders body tries to find places to store it and that causes disorders in our body so usually the tissues where the body stores it is in the liver or in the muscles glycogen storage disease number 1 3 4 and 6 in the liver and 5 and 7 is associated with the muscles if it is deposited in the liver what will you see you see that the liver has enlarged in size because there's so much of glycogen stored inside so it enlarges hepatomegaly second thing is blood glucose decreases why because glycogen is not broken down into small packets of glucose so our body experiences hypoglycemia now if it's in the if the glycogen is deposited in the muscle we'll get muscle cramps myoglobinuria exercise induced rise in blood lactate levels as well first one is von grickey von grickey the enzyme which is deficient is glucose 6 phosphatase now where does this come in so in glycogenolysis that is a breaking down of glyco glycogen the enzyme glucose 6 phosphate comes in the end where when the glucose 6 phosphate has to be converted to glucose this should be done with the help of this enzyme glucose 6 phosphatase so if this enzyme is deficient we can we cannot break down glycogen all right so how to remember this one one gurke one sound like one 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 yeah so that will help you remember that this is the first disease second gurke and glucose they both start with the letter g so that should help you remember the enzyme which is deficient is glucose 6 phosphatase next is the pompey's disease and the enzyme deficient is acid maltase which is also called as lysosomal alpha 1 for glucosidase the mnemonic is two vacuum pumps were used to pump out acidic lysosomes from all the organs of the body so it's a long mnemonic but this mnemonic covers everything about pompey's disease all the main things so why have i mentioned two vacuum pumps specifically is because two number two this is the second disease pompey pump will help you remember pompey acidic will help you remember acid maltase lysosomes will help you remember as lysosomal alpha 1 for glucosidase which is the other name for acid maltase and it will also remind you lysosome will also remind you that this is the only disorder which is part of the lysosomal storage disorders okay and the last part of the mnemonic is from all organs of the body this will help you remember that pompey's disease affects all the organs of the body it's not just in uh, limited to liver and the muscle all right next one is cori's disease the enzyme deficient is d branching enzyme now if we start lettering the alphabet numbering the alphabets a b c as 1 2 3 c gets a number 3 okay because 3 or the it's a c is the third alphabet um in the list of alphabets so this will help you remember that the number third disease is cori's disease c 3 now the roman numeral number 3 looks like branches cut from a tree and stacked neatly next to each other look at that right it looks so neat and they look like branches of a tree are cut and put next to each other now branches are cut you can even put another word for it debranching yeah debranching is cutting branches so that will help you remember that the enzyme deficient here is debranching enzyme next is fourth one 
myelopectinosis which is also called as anderson disorder enzyme deficient is branching enzyme so the previous one was d branching and this one is branching now the roman number 4 looks like the branches on a tree look at this tree look at the branches that looks like the number 4 right no roman number 4 that will help you remember that this is the fourth disorder and the number 4 is hidden inside the letter a why is a important because we are talking about a myelopectinosis which starts with the letter a so look closely into this um into this a you can see that the purple part is actually 4 so this is a fourth disorder next is a mcardell's disease the enzyme deficient is myophosphorylase that's very easy because mcardell starts with the m myophosphorylase starts with the m now if you draw the letter m you can see that the middle part which i have drawn in yellow it looks like the letter v or the roman roman number 5 so this will help you remember that this is the fifth disease Sixth one, Herz disease. The enzyme deficient is the liver phosphorylase. There's a simple mnemonic. This is the mnemonic: leave her at 6 p.m. So it's like as if you're asking someone to drop her off at her house at 6 p.m. So leave should the word leave should help you remember liver, liver phosphorylase, liver, liver. Her for Herz disease. at 6 pm why have i mentioned specifically 6 pm because this is the sixth disorder so this will help you remember that herz disease is the sixth disorder and the enzyme deficient is liver phosphorylase so this is the taru disease enzyme deficient is phosphofructokinase which we call as pfk 7 now you look at the letter t you can see a 7 hidden inside the orange is yellow part is actually 7 there's a 7 inside the t why is why is t important here because t for taru's disease and 7 because this is a seventh disease now if you write the number 7 and look at the inverted image of that it look it looks like the letter f right f and 7 so why is f important here because it will help you remember fructo phosphofructokinase so i hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you